My name is Kevin Tokoff. In this video, we're going to discuss the theory behind the phenylalanine deaminase test. The phenylalanine deaminase test is an important biochemical test in the identification of two genera within the family of bacteria known as Enterobacteriaceae. Those genera are known as Proteus and Providencia. These two genera will test positive for the phenylalanine deaminase test. The phenylalanine deaminase test specifically tests for the presence of this bacterial enzyme known as phenylalanine deaminase. This enzyme uses molecular oxygen to deaminate phenylalanine into this molecule shown over here on the right known as phenylpyruvic acid or phenylpyruvate, either one. In fact, you can see the amine of this amino acid, phenylalanine, has been removed as ammonia and is replaced by a double bonded oxygen in phenylpyruvic acid. Now, how do we specifically detect the enzyme? Well, we add something called ferric chloride. Specifically, the iron of the ferric chloride is going to react with phenylpyruvic acid, which is normally colorless. When the reaction with ferric chloride occurs, this molecule is transformed into a molecule that actually is green. Therefore, as long as we add ferric chloride, a color change to green is indicative of phenylpyruvic acid present, which in turn is indicative that we have phenylalanine deaminase. And, assuming we use the appropriate strategy for identifying the bacteria, a green color change, which is indicative of a positive phenylalanine deaminase result, indicates that we actually have one of the members of the family Enterobacteriaceae, which are Proteus or Providencia. A negative phenylalanine deaminase result is signaled by no color change at all. Let's look at what these results actually look like. As we will see in a demonstration video later, we're going to inoculate the bacteria on an ordinary slant with ferric chloride, and then we're going to incubate it. You can see here there's no color change to green right here, so this is going to be a negative result for phenylalanine deaminase, meaning we do not have Proteus or Providencia genera. However, you can see here we have a very dark greenish color develop on the slant. This is going to be a positive result for the phenylalanine, phenylalanine deaminase test indicating that we have either Proteus or Providencia. And you can see the same results over here. Over here on the far right in this picture, this is a negative result. Over on the, in the middle, we have a positive result because we have this dark greenish color. Okay, so that's how you identify the results for a phenylalanine deaminase test. And hopefully the theory behind that made a little bit of sense. Thank you.